Well, howdy varmints. I'm Joey Jojo Jr. Shabadoo, and welcome to my YouTube channel for my blog, opensourcedistilling.com. <laughs> I love everything about it. I love the do-it-yourself aspect of upgrading, building, and running your own equipment. I love making and drinking alcohol. If you ask me, stills are just about the best thing in this world, and home distilling is the most rewarding hobby I've ever had. We say that open source distilling is where time-honored tradition meets modern-day technology, that we are taking home distilling into the 21st century. The overall theme of my channel is to explore how the scientific method and consumer electronics can benefit home distilling. The long-term goal of this channel is to build a fully automated liquid management vodka still by using open source Python code running on a Raspberry Pi computer. If you don't know, a Raspberry Pi is a credit card sized Linux computer that retails for under $40 USD. As a prototype, I've already created a stepper motor controlled needle valve. The road to full automation is a long one. Our first computer related projects will be around adding temperature probes and implementing data logging into CSV files. I believe that many of you will think of home distilling automation as the devil and have a dying duck fit about it. The attention of the technology and automation is to free up a distiller's time, get better insights into what's going on inside the still, and hopefully make a better product. So calm your horses, computers can't taste, and smell vision was a failure. The human element will never, and can never, be completely removed from distilling. And besides, all grain beer brewing automation has been on the market for years now, making brew days easier and freeing up time for the brewmaster. I wholeheartedly believe distilling automation will free us from the tasks that we don't want to do. During the process of building my automated still, I will be upgrading my current boiler, fabricating a new reflux column, and still head. I've designed my very own still head, never before seen, and specifically made for low ceilings for someone like me that distills in an apartment. It's my take on Raikou's Thor's hammer still head design found in the book Designing and Building Automatic Stills. While the long-term goal is full automation, the short-term goal of the channel is to collect experimental data on well-held distilling traditions and with any luck, improve on them while learning a little something along the way. This channel is a little different from other distilling channels you'll find on YouTube because everything is done in an apartment setting. I live in a major city and space is at a premium. All my equipment sits in a closet, Tetra style, until it needs to be taken out for brewing or distilling. While most distillers have a garage or backyard available to them with a garden hose, I have a hallway and a bathroom. I had a 208 volt plug installed in my den and I'm limited by the height of my ceiling. Everything around me is breakable. If I drop my boiler in the bathroom, I'll likely break the floor tiles or damage the bathtub. I need to take extra precautions that other distillers wouldn't need to take. I'll be using some unusual equipment that won't make sense for everybody. Mrs. Joey Jojo Jr. would not be happy if I damaged anything. Necessity is the mother of all invention. Because of the wide array of topics we cover here, I've taken to color coding the thumbnails. Just because you are interested in distilling doesn't mean that you're interested in writing Python code to automate a still with robotics. Orange, distilling process, tasting, and spirit making. Red, equipment related videos. Blue, wash recipes and fermentation videos. Teal, raspberry pie distilling automation and brown, cider and all grain brewing, just a little bit 
I want to share all my alcohol related activities with y'all. Again, welcome to Open Source Distilling. Please take the time to share my videos with your friends and hit that subscribe button before seeing yourself out. Keep your saddle oiled and your gun greased. Y'all come back now, you hear?